where the construction facility is at, at NC State. And it is a facility where we test structures and really anything that you want to test the strength of, we have the capability to do it here. We have machines that can go up to around two million pounds. We also have some actuators and some computer systems that can record data hundreds of times a second. One of the unique features of the Constructive Facilities Lab is our ability to integrate uh, public and private partnerships into a lot of the work we do. So we consistently work with traditional uh, research sponsoring entities, National Science Foundation, DOTs, Federal Highway, those sorts of groups. And we also routinely work with private industry, looking to partner with the university on research and integrating those two groups together uh, creates a, a very nice atmosphere for our faculty and our students. This is a beam that we're testing for the North Carolina Department of Transportation. It is a standard design used all over the state. Many of these bridges, after being in service for 30 or 40 years, have serious corrosion issues. Instead of making the beams with standard steel reinforcement, they're using carbon fiber reinforcement, which is more corrosion resistant. This test program is testing these new carbon fiber reinforced beams to assess their capacity and see if they're a suitable replacement for the steel beams. After it gets to a certain load, we'll mark a crack and then write the load next. So at 60,000 pounds, the crack went up to here. At 70, it went to here. 80,000 pounds, it went up to here. And up here, it goes up to 90,000 pounds. One major benefit for the university of working with private industry on some of our research is that the things we do in the lab have direct application in the field and are often implemented quickly and are often uh, initiated to solve problems that uh, develop in the real world. You've seen the work we do testing beams and figuring out how strong things are here in the lab. But behind this, there's always a huge number of people who are helping out upstairs on the computers and who are doing analysis by hand, looking at the theory, understanding exactly what we're doing and why we're doing it. And we create expectations for what we want to happen, and that's really what we're testing, is whether those expectations are true. That's how we learn about what we're doing.